Most side-by-side -side shotguns use one or more leaf springs like this to operate the action. The top lever spring, hammer springs, sear springs are generally leaf springs. Now, when these things break, which they occasionally do, you likely are not going to be able to get a new one from the manufacturer. But with a piece of spring steel bar stock like this, all it takes is time and skill, and you can make a new one. Making a leaf spring for a top lever or something like that is something every gunsmith needs to know how to do. And Jack, I know you're going to make one for us here, so why don't you explain kind of the process and what you're doing. You certainly, uh, Larry. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a, a simple top lever spring of greener type for mm -hmm. a job we've got in progress. It's, it's fairly simple. Again, it's, it, there, are, there are snags you can come across in making a spring, but it's a fairly simple job. The, the, the latter part of the process is the difficult part, the hardening and tempering. So let's make a start on this one. All right, now you're starting Correct. with spring steel stock, so this is special stock yeah, that's it's, made just for making springs. It, it's just spring, spring steel. This is, this is 3 30 seconds thick, which is ample thickness for the top lever spring. You need a good torch or flame to heat this up in. You need more fire than what you might get with just a standard propane torch. Yeah, sure. to cool off. That's, now okay, that's the first stage. Well Jack, it's all cooled down and we've cut this leg off here, this extra material, so uh, doesn't look like a spring yet. No, it, it soon will be, Larry. Now this is where you've got to do some hacksawing and filing. Now don't mess around with a little file. <laughs> Get a, a big file on it because you... You're just dressing this, so you're not yeah. trying to actually remove any metal it. except just to get it nice and flat. Yeah, yeah that's right. And then it's no good messing around with a little tiny file. Because use it'll use take enough ages. file, is that what you say? Yeah, use a big file, get the metal off, clean up the sides. This will be the... Okay, let's dress that side up. Now the... Okay, well, what we'll do, we'll... We'll call that the top, we'll call that the bottom, and... The, we, the bottom's what you're going to file the little well, leg on. I'm going to leave the leg on. On the bottom. That's right. The next move is to, to saw down the... Rather than to file it off, you're going to saw it off. Yes. That'll save you some time. Well, I've got to cut a big strip off. So there's two roots. Use enough file and never file if you can saw. That's right. Yes. So you're just removing the material that you would access to the spring. Okay, okay, now we've just about got to the bottom of that slot there. I'll just, 
those two, two strips are hanging by a thread you might say I'll just cut in that in the end here and there we go those parts are out you okay so that's what away. you hacks out off that's right now I've got a little kind of piece with a ear on the end let me just an extension on the end so this is where we're going to make the tab that's correct okay now we've just got to clean, clean that up a bit and thin it down where the peg at the end is going to go again don't mess around with a little file there's a mile of metal on there to come off clean that surface up there now the uh, because you can always clean the spring up after you've made it the next move is to thin that down on the sides and you're actually making the peg now that's going to fit I'm into going that. To, yes making part the peg one side done you file it the flats and then you're going to dress it yeah, and yeah, make it so around you can make, make that round later on when you finish the when you finish making the spring you can finally round that off and, and make it look nice i mean there's no no sense in doing a lot of fancy work right now because mm -hmm. you've still got to harden and temper the spring it might break and all your work you've done up to this stage is all is all wasted now if if i allow it's if i remember right it was somewhere around five eighths of an inch down on the old on the old one so i've marked down there about there we can always if i leave enough metal i can always move it after we've made the spring so you're going to shorten this one uh, that's great this one arm of the spring this is going to be the short one i'll cut it off about there There we go. Okay, now I've taken that surplus off. I don't need that anymore. Now, I'm going to taper that leg downwards mm -hmm. because it needs to be thinner at this end than it does at the top end. Right. Again, get a nasty sharp file, a big one, and start hacking away. The more that you take off, the weaker the spring. That's so good. you're That's taking it. metal off to weaken the spring because it would be too strong of a spring if you didn't well, take it off. If I made a spring with that thickness, it, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It would be too strong, and right. it wouldn't close up nicely. What I want to try and achieve is to get the some of the point with get the thickness of. The there just below there mm -hmm. the same on that side about so, the same on both uh, that's right i've got a, lot, a fair way to go yet i've got to taper this leg some mm -hmm. more it's a long a longer leg so i've got a longer area to thin down yes you but you get a good file yeah they've got a good file thank goodness Well, we've just, I think we've just about got that down to the thickness we need. So the next move is... Right, light the torch back, back up. Light the torch off, up again. And off we go. There's no more sawing needed. There'll be some more firing in there. Hold it using an old, old, some old pliers that you don't value very highly. You hold the, hold the spring by the longer leg and heat the... Uh, a bit more. Yeah, that'll be a problem.
right, it's beginning to look like a spring. Let me hold I'll it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> nice. Now what I've done, I've, 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 got the get, I've got some gape between the two legs now and some curve in the legs now. You don't want to make them too wide open because you, 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 the, the, the gape of the spring depends on the length of it. If you've got a little short spring, you can't have it way out here. It, 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 the, the gape is commensurate with the length. And now you're going to basically do the fine work on it and yeah. detail it a little bit, yeah. is that right? Clean it up a bit and, uh, before I, and put it put a bit more better better shape in it here and there before I start hardening it. Okay, it's still so soft now, you can do all this It's still soft, hard. you can still hold, file it. And the thing is now is to... Now you're into the smaller files, I can right. see. Now with a with a knife file you can you can clean up in, in the... And just, click, just clean out any burrs and stuff in it. Um, dirt that's got inside now. What I do, I've got some marks here on the... Mm -hmm. You're trying the, to clean off all uh, the marks. I shall just clean, clean off those and you can use just a ordinary, ordinary Swiss file to do that, we'll do that. So what you're doing now is basically taking off all the nicks and scratches. That's right, I've got one and or two marks. nicks and scratches in there. I'm making up nothing because I could do it later after I've hardened it, but as I say, that, that's, that's, about, that's about clean enough, Larry. Mm -hmm. Now we're just about finished cleaning this up somewhat before we harden it. Don't want to do too much work at this game before you know you've got a good spring. Now, the next thing, we're going to harden it, so a bit of welding rod will do the trick if you've got nothing else. And you want just a small piece of wire so you don't draw away any of the heat. Well, the you need to have enough wire to wrap wrap, wrap around the spring to hold it because mm -hmm. we're going to dunk it into some. You're going to dunk it in the oil, so into you the oil, and of course we don't lose it in the oil. We can put the torch in the vise. We're going to heat it till it's red. We're going to heat it till it's a nice, br a bright red. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to quench it. Right. And then we're going to temper it by bur what we call burning it off. Burning now, off the oil. I'm going to get this to an even color all over. Mm -hmm. Now, this is easy enough to do with a small spring like this. With no much, not much power behind it, and I take the spring out of the oil, and I keep I keep keep moving it about in that little in that little flame. Just make sure there's no no places where there's any on but oil in the oil, out again, back in the flame. Just in and out. And in, out <laughs> in in the flame and it immediately immediately catches fire or it should do. There we go, it's just it's touching the flame, it's all burned off. Yes, that's all right now. Put it back in the oil. Even though it's been in that oil, it's still hot. Yes. It's there's a lot of gunge on it. I've got to get all that all this burnt oil off it. You can see you can, scrape some, you can just scrape some of it off. So about right. Now, uh, a saw file, um, uh, which is a, like a mill file, mm -hmm. will will cut uh, a spring easily. It will file a spring very easily. So I can get all of these now. See how easy that files? Mm -hmm. You'd think you'd think it was soft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if there was a hard spot, one of these little files, you can still file it. Well, I think it's safe enough to test this. Okay. Okay, so now, hold the peg in the vise, get a big pair of pliers, or you can screw it up in the vise, excuse me, Larry, and we just squeeze up the, squeeze up the spring, 
It's very strong, it needs sealing down before you fit it in the gun. Here we go. Fully compressed and it opens again. Not quite to where I had it before. It's found its own set mm -hmm. and it'll stay like that. And that's about, for the that's length of spring, that's about the amount of gape you need. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to squeeze it up, you may have a try and get Larry. See if you can bust it. I'm going to get in trouble if I do. Well, I should. There you go. Both arms of that spring come together and open back out again. Mm -hmm. And it's strong, as you can witness. Yes, that would be a good top lever spring. Okay. And here we are, that, that, that top lever spring's ready for final fitting to the gun and polishing as, a, as per original. Quite a miracle, Jack. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. A great job. You're welcome.